And, and there's also exotic meats and hot dogs, or like uh, if you go to a worst kush or um, like these exotic sausage flavors, there's rabbit, there's jalapeno, there's duck, there's snake, there's all that stuff. Snake hot dogs? And snake hot dogs. You can Wouldn't make. that just be a snake? Hey there, my name is Edward. And I'm Nate. I'm Destiny. Hi, I'm Michelle. And today we're gonna be guessing cheap versus expensive hot dogs. I don't know if I'll be able to tell what's cheap and what's expensive. Right, because we were talking earlier and we're like, what is an expensive hot dog? Does it have like truffles and gold flake on yeah. it? Like, what's a cheap hot dog? Is I it imagine like... it was sung to by Beyonce as it grew up. And yes. Then it's an expensive hot dog. I'm just an all around guy. I, I, I get creative with it. I do go with you um, everything. I go everything. I do mayo, mustard, ketchup, relish. Whenever I do the Dodger dogs over at the Dodger Stadium, um, I go bacon wrap. Bacon wrap. That's like the best one with like some onions on it. True. Yeah. True. Grill the onions or you keep it. Of course chocolate. you gotta grill you the gotta onions. You gotta do it. Ooh. Oh my god, it's a hot dog toaster. I didn't even realize. That this was a requirement. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, old school. I've never seen a hot dog toaster before. Although, okay, in all honesty, I love this, this aesthetic. As black. <laughs> this aesthetic. <laughs> I cannot see it today. I love the look. <laughs> to be honest, I love this look. I mean, it, it reminds me of Pleasantville, though, that old Tobey Maguire <laughs> movie, you know, that feels of the, what is it, 50s, 60s, yeah, and all that stuff. It's that. like retro. I like it. I don't understand it, but I'm here for it. Right. So we both beat our face. I have lashes, you have lashes, and we're going to be putting on blindfolds. So. Ugh. I'm having blindfold trouble. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I being okay. difficult? I just really don't want to mess up my lashes. Fair, fair. Those are fresh lashes. I, I see you, girl. I see you. All right. Definitely tied this blindfold to my actual real hair, so I'm excited about that. We put our hands in the toaster. This is the bun. That's the bun. Okay, I got a hot dog. Wait, Do we, we have, have the same hot dog? <laughs> We're just like... No condiments, just a regular. Okay, should we cheers? Okay, cheers. Like, cheers. You know, okay, this feels like a lightsaber fight, but with, with hot dogs. I like that it's beefy, beefy in texture. This tastes like an Oscar Mayer. I was gonna say this is an Oscar Mayer. You just mm -hmm. go get it from anywhere. What a great hot yeah. dog. You know, if that one felt like pretty, pretty plain, pretty normal. You mm -hmm. know? Like a normal hot dog. Yeah. I think this is the normal hot dog I get. If like when yeah. I get hot dogs, I just go grab an Oscar Mayer and keep it pushing. Tastes, uh, tastes like regular. Yeah. I'd say that one was pretty dang cheap. Yeah, it definitely feels cheap. I gotta check out the other three to really put it down my spectrum on, for now, yeah, definitely on the on the bottom pole. Hopefully the others are better. Okay, this sounds weird, but this reminds me of like childhood. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like when you're little and you know, you're just eating the hot dogs with the barbecue and yeah. they're not fancy hot dogs. Like it's just a summer barbecue. Yeah. It's a good dog regular, good old sturdy dog. The first hot dog was fine. I mean, it tasted like home, tasted like regular everyday Oscar Mayer. Yeah. Um, I feel like on a scale of like one to 10, like maybe 6.5? Yeah. Not bad, but yeah. Let's see, for the next one we have, okay. Oh, okay. this is a thicker okay, this, dog. This is, <laughs> okay, you know what? I don't know about this texture. I don't think that this is like. You know what this tastes like? Vienna sausages. Mm. I don't like this one. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> the flavor is very funky. Yeah. Um, it's smoky. There's there's something yeah, it hits you when you inhale it. Oh, I'm hit all right. I don't know. Something about it makes me feel like it's not meat. It's like yeah. a meat substitute because it's so, oh. it's, it's so chewy. I'd say this one's at least, this one's middle, but I could see it also being the most expensive one. It does taste fancier because I feel like it's got more flavoring. Like yeah. you can tell that there's like more spice, more seasoning in it, but I don't know if I like it. I don't. You know, I want my basic hot dog. Yeah. You know how you go to like Trader Joe's and you buy like a, like a $20 box of hot dogs and you're like, I don't like these mm. at all. Mm-hmm. No. Now, that's yeah. what this is. Yeah. 
I'm gonna say this is more expensive than the first one. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, because I guess like an Oscar Mario dog really doesn't cost that much. Because I think, okay, I think what makes this expensive is that because it's chewier, mm. it's either some kind of like fancier meat, and because it's got more seasoning, I think it's probably something like, I don't know, yeah. Italian flavoring. So I feel like it has to be more expensive than like a normal hot dog. Yeah, I see the possibility of being that most expensive, but um, it's just that taste, like it shouldn't be that expensive because it just, nah. the flavor sucks. Yeah. It's so bad. Sorry, whoever made that hot dog. I know. That wasn't a good hot dog. That was not a good hot dog. Hey, right? like odd. Why are they too big to fit? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> yes, girl! <laughs> Did you get it? This one's a lot bigger, yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait. This one's massive. I think I grabbed something extra. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this part. I'm gonna put that over there. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's a thick one. Oh, my God. She's oh, so thick. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> this one, I, I, I feel the, uh, the wrap on the end, and I know that, you know, a hot dog connoisseur pretty much uh, knows about the snap. Uh, when biting into a hot dog, so. You're throwing out a lot of hot dog terminology at me right now. I think I'm out of my level. Okay, you know, honestly, this just tastes like a really thick Oscar Mayer hot dog. You wanna touch my wrap? Wait, you got plastic? Would you just ask? You wanna touch my wrap? <laughs> uh, I mean, I will. Oh, oh, oh. You feel that? Ew, what the? You don't have that? <laughs> no, I don't have that. I feel like the texture of it is more what I'm used to because it's just uh, like a normal hot dog and not like super chewy like the hot dog number two. Yeah. That, that's how they stuff it, I think, in the old Polish era times or something. Um, you like legitimately know how hot dogs are made. I believe. I might be speaking on a Wikipedia page and, <laughs> and just thinking. There's some aftertaste in it that I'm thrown by. I do think if I were to have this with like a bun and ketchup and mustard and whatever other topping you want. This will be a thigh dog. Yeah, I agree. I do like this one better. This one is pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Mine didn't have like plastic covering the whole thing like yours though, mm. so I think I got the better hot dog. <laughs> no judgment though. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this is more expensive for the simple fact that it's so much larger. <laughs> I'm like, yes, this is a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> such pervs over here. And, and there's also exotic meats in hot dogs where like uh, if you go to Worst Kush or um, like these exotic sausage flavors, there's rabbit, there's jalapeno, there's duck, there's snake, there's all that stuff. Snake hot dogs? And snake hot dogs. You can Wouldn't make. that just be a snake? Hot dog number two was so weird. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this has to be an expensive hot dog. I've never had this hot dog before. No, yeah. <laughs> and, and just like the taste of it, there was so much, like you said, seasoning yeah. from it. While, whereas like these other two were just like, here are the meats. How many kind of hot dogs have you eaten, man? Um, great question. <laughs> I didn't know. Was I supposed to be like a hot dog expert? What is this also? <laughs> Did I break the toaster? I think in order of cheap to expensive, I think hot dog number one is cheapest. I think hot dog number three, our little thickety thick friend, <laughs> is gonna be um, like mid-tier. And then I think hot dog number two is the most expensive. I think the first one was the cheapest, and then I think this one's the most expensive, and then the middle one, I think, is the middle one. Gotcha. I'm gonna go with that because I don't think we would get the hot dogs in the order that they are. Oh, otherwise, true. I would've went one was cheapest, two was second tier, and three is the most expensive, but right. you're not gonna set me up on this one. The first one's definitely the cheapest. The second one we tried out is the uh, let's see, I'll put in the most expensive because it was the tastiest and that mm. wrap, it's premium quality there. And the, this last one, I would say it's in the second level, second tier. Nate, you were wrong and you were right. Woo! Yes! Fine. Oh, I knew what? it! I knew it! I knew it! How expensive were they? Uh, one dollar, eight dollars, thirty-two. Thirty-two dollars? <laughs> Okay. Wagubi. Okay, Wagubi. so that's where they like massage the cows, make them like really soft. <laughs> I mean, they, they live a happy life. Not do they? For being right, you get 
What? You get to keep the toaster. Oh, I always wanted one of these. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We are the champions. <laughs> Thank you. I consider myself a weenie champion now.